I'm pretty sure it started with this picture, which was on the cover of Mir Kerr's album Folksang, which is a collection of Scandinavian folk songs. The painting is by Hans Dahl, a Scandinavian painter who loved to capture the sort of pastoral nature of the landscape and the people there. This is another painting by Hans Dahl. Similar, but the colors are different. The landscape's a little different. I love that she's knitting in both of these images. It's what I would want to be doing while wandering around the Scandinavian landscapes for sure. But then came this picture from Katie Metcalf, who likes to combine Scandinavian traditional costumes with the look and feel of black metal. Katie's photograph convinced me that I wanted to have a vest like this for myself, particularly because I do have some Swedish ancestry of my own. So I started looking around for inspiration. I found this piece from Voria and a couple of pieces from different websites that advertise dirndls and other Scandinavian and Germanic forms of traditional costumes. And I started to get an idea of what I wanted. All right, so here is what I'm starting out with. It is a velvet blouse that I got at Goodwill. It actually came with this piece and a skirt for a grand total of $10. And I thought it would be a good starting point for this vest that I want to make. Um, you can see that I cut it down the middle to see if it fits around me. It doesn't quite, so I'm going to have to add some... Uh, some more fabric along the front seams there but i still think this is a great way to get this piece started without having to buy all the velvet and start from scratch so i guess we'll see how it goes all right now you can see i've sewn on these little extra panels to give myself some more room in the front um and the next thing that i'm going to do is cut out the sleeves and create an armhole uh, that will make it look more like a vest. Wish me luck on that one. I'm worried about screwing it up. Yay, I didn't screw it up. I shaped the armholes based on another vest that I have and they came out pretty good. They're a little bit big because I need to turn them under and hem them and stuff, but uh, I just tried it on and if it's much better, I like it a lot. So on to the next step. Okay, here's what it looks like after I've done all the finishing work on the basic bodice vest situation here. Um, I added these two pieces in the middle to give it a little more width, and I just whip stitched everything down so that it um, will stay in place. And a lot of this will be extra secured once I add all of the trim on. But you might be able to even see that the original facing was also just whipped down very gently. Pitchin! I also did the same thing with the insides of the sleeves or the sleeve holes at this point. I made it a little um, bigger of a hem at the top because I wanted a narrower strap and then just made it narrower um, as I sewed it down toward the armhole. The arm. Okay, I sewed an invisible zipper down the front because I was worried that with just dirndl hooks, there would be a lot of gapping in the front, and I didn't want that look in particular. So um, you can see the trim that I got to go around some of the edges, and I'm getting ready to pin that on and then sew it into place. Right. I have pinned the trim on the way I think I'm going to sew it on, and then the next step will be to hand sew all of this to the bodice.
the base of the vest is done. And now I'm starting to play with some of these silver embellishments that I got to stitch on. Um, I got this silver lace that I thought maybe I could cut apart, um, create some sort of design like this. This is sort of the main design with the roses. And then maybe I can use this as a stem. Um, yeah, that's inside out. Maybe put some of these along the way. Um, I'm probably not going to use silver thread for this because I really hate sewing with metallic threads, but um, I have this silvery gray thread that I think is going to work just fine. So I am going to play with this a bunch. I haven't decided yet whether to try to make it symmetrical or not. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start playing and see what I can come up with. So as you can probably see, the vest is pretty much done. However, um, I started by putting in some black lacing on the dirndl hooks, and I don't really like how it looks. I feel like it doesn't stand out very well. And some of these types of vests tend to have lacing done with a uh, thin silver chain. I don't really want metal in this garment either, so I have gotten some uh, some ribbon that looks a lot like chain and I'm going to lace it up with that. We'll see how it looks.
<laughs> Thanks, Pigeon. Hey. <laughs>